Hello, my friends, and happy Friday. I know you're not used to seeing me on Fridays, but I'm really happy that I could be with you virtually so that we could do this read aloud together. And the book we'll be reading is called The Panda Problem. The words are by Deborah Underwood, and the illustrations are by Hannah Marks. Let's get going. Once upon a time, there was a panda who lived in a beautiful bamboo grove. But the panda had a big problem. Nope, said the panda. Excuse me? I don't have any problems. Lovely view, lots of bamboo to eat, sunny day. What could be better? This is a story. I'm the narrator, and you are the main character. The main character? That sounds important. It is. But you need a problem. Why? So you can solve the problem. That's how stories work. So what's your problem? Do you want to go somewhere? Nope. Are you afraid of spiders? Nope. Do you need a friend? Uh, nope. Do you wish you could fly? Nope. Do you wish you were green? Nope. Is your paw sore? Oh, let me check. Nope. How am I supposed to tell a story if you don't have a problem? I don't know. Looks like you're the one with the problem, buddy. Look at how relaxed that panda is. That's hilarious. Hey, maybe you are the main character and I am your problem. What? Ridiculous. You're right. How could a sweet little panda like me be a problem? Unless... Hmm... I started playing a banjo! Really badly! Hey, where did you get that? And what if I hung upside down and sang the bamboo burp song? Bamboo burp. Bamboo burp. You are definitely starting to feel like a problem, Panda. Great. And what if it started raining jelly beans? Now there's a problem for you. How will you explain that? Who here would like uh, if it rained jelly beans? I know I would love that. I love jelly beans. Next time, I'm going to narrate a book about rocks. Nice, quiet rocks. And what if a bunch of aliens landed? How could you possibly tell a story about a burping panda and jelly bean rain and, and aliens? Aliens? There's no such thing as... And what if we built a boat? To Antarctica. But the setting for this story is Bamboo Grove. There are no penguins in bamboo groves. Okay, we've got a main character, you, and a problem, me. So what happens next? Well, sometimes the problem gets worse. But that won't happen now, because things can't get 
any worse. Oh, can't they? What if suddenly there were? Two pandas! Whoa. Wow, I'm tired. And hungry. Very hungry. I think we have a problem. Finally. What is it? We're very hungry, and there's no bamboo in Antarctica. Well, well, that is a problem. How will you solve it? Hmm. I don't know. I'm too hungry to think straight. Glippity glork? Hey, great idea, alien. Okay, narrator. If you will get us home, we will stop making problems and help you tell your panda story. No banjos, no burping, no penguins. Really? Well, all right. <clears throat> Together, the pandas and aliens came up with a great plan. The pandas and aliens spelled out help with jelly beans. The alien ship scooped everyone up in its tractor beam. Look at everyone going flying up. And dropped them safely back in the bamboo grove, where everyone settled down to a bamboo and jelly bean feast. What a satisfying ending. I'm really sleepy. Wake up. We need to help the narrator tell a story. We promised. That's okay. Let's try again tomorrow. I'm sleepy too. Hey, why don't you tell me a bedtime story? Sure, we are story experts now. Once upon a time, there was a narrator. But the narrator had a big problem. And that's it. That's the end of our story. I hope you had a great time listening. I absolutely loved this book and had a really fun time reading it to you. I just want to wish you all good luck with writing the rest of your story and make sure to include all of the story elements that were talked about in this book. This book will definitely help you complete your writing today. Can't wait to read and hear about what you wrote. Have a great day.